Hello and welcome back to Noble Panda where today we are going to start our second season. We have signed a couple of free agents in Manuel Velasco, Christopher Peterson, and Carlos Araujo. They're all lower rated than their highest rated player on the team and all three of them will actually be stepping into starting positions. I have downloaded the cheat engine so we can release players that we haven't been able to sell yet. We do have Nico Madsen, Kalad Bishandi, and Olav Martinson, who are all showing great potential. We also have Sebastian Andresen, who has the potential to be special. We have scouted Hassan Bayomi, who is a goalkeeper, 65 rated from Egypt. Great value. We are actually just going to try to train him up. Also got another great player in a right wing back in Gustav Solheim. We are going to train up his defensive stats, make him a little bit better back there in defense all training them to become better so we can call them up into the team. We have Martinson Andresen as our forwards, Araujo, Bashandi, and Johansson as our center players, Tang, Peterson, Velasco, Rowley, Jakobsen, and then Madsen as our goalies. We have Magyar, Fleming, Alsen, Breka, Lucas, Hoagland, Yamam as our reserves or our substitute players. So this is how we're going to start rolling into season number two. Here's a comment from Neptu Neum. He says, I should probably switch Breka from right wing back to right wing. I will do that in the next episode. I've already recorded this one. So here we go, jumping in. First game against SK Bran. And Araujo gets tackled from behind by Munga Simba. Here is Tang dribbling the ball, finding Velasco. Velasco's waiting for Andresen to make his run, and he does, and he gets his first goal of the game. Here we go, Araujo showing some defensive capabilities while also playing as our left winger. Martinson passes the ball into Andresen, who almost gets tackled but sticks with it and gets his second goal of the game. Here's Araujo waiting for Captain Tang to make his run. He does, Tang kicks the ball into the center, and Olav Martinson gets his first goal. This is when SK Braun started to put the pressure on us just before halftime. But here, off this corner kick, Johansson steals the ball from them and just uses his pace. And every last ounce of it sees Bashandi right in the opening in the middle of the field. He's dribbling the ball and takes his shot and he gets his goal. And going into halftime, we have a 4-0 lead. Coming out of halftime, SK Braun tried their best and they got the deflection right off our defender and Munga Simba, the guy that fouled us earlier, he gets his goal. Here's Sebastian Andresen's third goal of the game. Here's Andresen dribbling the ball, almost had it stolen from him. Passes it into Haugland who gets his first goal of the season. Off the throw in here, Rekka find a nice opening. And they get their second goal of the game. And the game ends with Andresen 3 for 3 on his goals and his attempts. And we beat SK Braun in our first game of the second season. We are switching Tang from a center defensive midfielder into a left wing back. And he goes up 3 overall. We simulate this game here against Lillestrom. I am going to be simulating some games throughout this season as it goes along. Gonna play each team in the league once, and we're definitely going to play every single Norwegian Cup game. Here we have this game against Stabæk, and early on, they get a goal. We keep fighting, and here goes Araujo making another run, and he gets tackled again. And they get another yellow card. Here's Rowley, finding Tang out on the left-hand side here. Tang sees Araujo make his run in past the defender. Araujo doesn't see an opening, so he's dribbling into the center, and he gets a shot, and it gets blocked. Here's a free kick from Andreasen in the 19th minute, and it's just wide. Here's Stabek with an opportunity that bounces off our defenders, and we're here for the counter. Andreasen sees Bashandi. Bashandi passes it out to Johansson. Johansson takes his shot, and it gets deflected wide. Here's Jakobsen passing back into Bashandi. Bashandi takes his attempt, and he pushes it wide. Here we go, we get a nice interception in the middle of the field. Araujo making his run from the left hand side. He takes his shot and it gets pushed wide. We had plenty of opportunities in that first half to try to take the lead and nothing came of it. 
Here we go, Bashandi passing the ball out to the right-hand side to Johansson, who crosses it into Andresen, who got a lucky little boot touch on it and was able to get it into the back of the net. Here's Jakobsen, and he gets fouled. And it's the second yellow card for Kasi, so he gets red carded and pushed out of the game now. So Stabbecker down to 10 men. Can we find a way to... Oh, Hauglund with the missed header. Stabbeck tosses the ball out to the far right-hand side of the pitch. I thought the ball was going out of bounds. They keep it in bounds, and they dribble inside, and they shoot, and they get the game-winning goal in the last seconds of the game. Same story as last season. Uh, we are pretty darn good at scoring goals. We give them up a lot, and there are apparently some really good defensive teams in the league early on. We had an opportunity and it was saved. Here we go, Johansson passing the ball out to Jakobsen, who then finds Martinson in the middle. Martinson sees Bashani making a run. Bashani's trying to find an opening. He keeps dribbling inside, passes it back to Martinson, who luckily, with the outstretch of his boot, got it and put it into the back of the net. Here's Bashandi again out to Martinson. Martinson, how are you going to score a goal? He gets it and the goalie pushes it out. Bashandi. With a nice, subtle little tap in. <laughs> Alright, Tromso with an opportunity. It was just over the crossbar. Going into halftime. We have a 2-0 lead against Tromso. Here we go, Bashandi. Finding Martinson. Martinson into Araujo. Araujo with the opportunity and he puts it into the far side of the net. Here's Tromso with their... Oh my gosh, these goals are so commonplace, but Madsen stood strong and pushed it out. Here's Magyar, who came in as a substitute for Andresen, and he bounces it right off the crossbar. Here's Jakobsen passing the ball into Hauglund. Hauglund sees Magyar making his run. Magyar cuts back into the inside, almost loses control of the ball, Takes a wonderful shot and it bounces off a defender and into the back of the net. Thromso trying to get the game back into somewhat decent scoreline and they put it right off the post. Magyar making another run. Passes it in to Austin who takes a shot and it's just wide. We end up beating Thromso 4-0. Once again, here goes Sarpsborg, one of the best defenses in the league. They pass the ball up over the top, that's still a problem, but when you have a guy with speed like Breka, you can slow things down on the back, and it was just enough to make them push the ball outside of the net. Here's another opportunity, pulled our man out of position on the defense. Imam makes a great stop to push it out, but on the rebound, the scissor kick goes in for Sarpsborg. Here's Abubakar. Running down the right-hand side, chipping it into Magyar, who did not have a very good shot attempt there. Here's El Shami going out in defense on the left-hand wing there. And another scissor kick goal. Here's Hauglund waiting for somebody to make a move. There's Magyar making his move, and this time it gets deflected again. So at halftime, we're down 2-0. I felt like we were having a lot of pressure on the back end. Of our defense, so I wanted to put a couple more defenders back there. I've got Yarvan and Nikola Ishai in the center defensive midfield there, seeing if there's something we can do. And after changing that defense, Abubakar passing the ball into Magyar. Magyar waiting for an opportunity, evades a couple defenders, passes it back to Abubakar, who gets his goal. Here's Sarpsborg running down the field. We intercept the pass. Here's Warner to El Shami. Ashami into Kolodshai. Kolodshai to Birch. Birch using some momentum, waiting for Magyar to make his run. There he goes. Magyar's going to get the tying goal, and he pushes it just wide. Here we go. Another opportunity to see. Oh, and they steal the ball right from us, and we are caught out of position. What can we do to save it? No way, Ashami. You should have cleared that ball. Oh, man. A 3 1 deficit. The players are devastated, and at this point I thought the game was over. I was playing for it to be over. I thought the referee was going to blow the whistle, and they get a fourth goal at the very end of the game. I liked the way that defense played, so we're going to try to 
move things back a little bit on this formation. This is for our second squad that we have. And here is a game against Bodo Glimt. We're going to have two of them back to back. This is the first one. The next one will happen in the following episode. Early on, we had a crossing opportunity, but it wasn't enough for us to be able to push into the back of the net. Here's Ramsey. It was a nice little fancy pass into Kolodsha, who takes a shot and it got pushed wide. Um, the next game against Bodo Glimt coming up is going to be for the Norwegian Cup, so I wanted to play my second squad here again, or I have them saved as squad B. Players that don't get a lot of playing time, I wanted my first squad to be healthy with Andresen, Martinsen, Bashandi, those players. And we played really well here against Bodo Glimt, I felt like... Um, so far, we do have the one goal lead, but Yamam had one goal deflected and pushed in, and here's another one that he's going to deflect, and it's also going to be a deflection into goal as well. And we are going to end up losing 2-1 to Bodo Glimt on two goals that were pushed out by the goalie and then deflected. We are going to take care of the Norwegian Cup against Bodo Glimt in the next episode. Sandefjord and Odds are also going to be played. And then once we get to the month of June, we're also going to be playing the month of June as well. There are only three matches in June, so there will be six matches where we have Rosenborg, Viking, and Varenga in the next episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're all having a great day. And we'll see you next time here on Noble Panda.